City. I would say that Hue City is the quintessential Rising Storm map. It's a good... It's basically an urban map, but it still has a lot of vegetation you can hide in and basically just take cover behind. There's also a lot of fairly <coughs> well-designed houses. Sorry, I'm still having a cold here. Uh, looks like we are going to be the NRA. And we only have a few options available to us. Now, we can pick different AK subtypes. Sub, uh, we can pick the Type 56. We can pick the Type 56 with uh, the folding stock. Or we can just pick the Russian AKM. Or we can pick the SKS or the most in the gun bolt action rifle. I haven't actually found any big use for the bolt action rifle so far. We are also gonna make sure to use one. So I think we're gonna go with the AKM. Uh, or rather, I'm, we're gonna go with the Type 56 with the folding stock. And the reason we are doing that is because I want to show off one of the mechanics first thing. Now, we need to hold A and B. The United States Marine Corps are advancing into the city, and it's our job to stop them. The best way to do this is to shoot as many of the Imperialists as possible. Now, what I'm doing right now is stupid. I don't have my squad there, right? I should always try and fight close to my squad, but I don't know where the fuck they've gone off. Uh, and <clears throat> that's what happens when you run off without your squad. You get shot in the face. Uh, for some reason, I can't really see where my squad is hanging out, but... You should get used to that speed, by the way. Uh, Rising Storm 2 is about dying. Well, it's not Bravo really about is dying, being but... attacked. Uh, now you can see that I actually folded the stock on my AK, making it very more maneuverable in tight quarters. As you can see, I can move it around a lot easier. However, it also becomes a lot more difficult to shoot. So we're gonna turn off the automatic fire and put it on the same spot. We have allied troops nearby, but we don't have... Are switching to fully automatic. Oh, come on! We just walked straight into the guy and he, he hit us with his butt stock. And that is quite annoying because we actually could have gotten him had I just spotted the guy. I'm not making a good account of myself, am I? Oh well, let's see if we can turn this around. I'm not going to guarantee that I can, but I'm just gonna. Next round, I'm going to switch to the AKM, so I have the, the full stock, and not just this thing. So someone has burned a lot of stock We're going to extend the stock again, since we prepare for some long distance fire. And we actually got a shot off there, at least. That's my only little excuse. We got a shot off. Uh, change roll. And we're not actually gonna change roll, we're just gonna make sure we have the AKM. I mean, the original Russian quality. I don't know if this is true, I have to ask my resident AK experts about this. But as far as I've heard, the Russian variant of the AK was better than the Type 56 copy. I don't know if this is true. Uh, but I do like the slight different sights on it. There's an enemy nearby. I don't know where. He could be. This is why you really should run with your squad. It's something I haven't done so far. Because you don't have eyes in all directions. You don't have eyes in all directions. have a squad is also a bit of safety in numbers. You can realize the enemy is in the area simply by... Yeah, there's an artillery strike going on here. We 
are gonna stay there. We have the main street couple here, and there's fighting going on behind us. Yeah. We're gonna see if we can sneak up here, and if we can use this to destroy the part of the building that's fire on the enemy. Yeah, those are our guys. Bravo is being attacked. Friendly fire is a huge problem in this game, especially if you are unused to trying to actually identify you or so. I don't know if we got that guy. I think that was someone else's kill actually. We need to be more accurate. There's also a lot of shooting at things the enemy are, contrary to where they actually may be. Sometimes these kinds of tests of fate shots are... And someone brought out their M79 grenade launcher and looks I can't really complain about that because I got what I deserved. I stayed in the same spot, made myself visible. Yeah. <clears throat> now you're wondering, oh, why aren't you showing off your insane skill with a lot of kill streaks and everything? No, not that kind of game. I'm playing this game wrong. I want to make that completely clear because right now I need to find where we the hell my squad Alpha. went. And without my squad, I am useless. The entire game is based around the, the squad mechanic. We got one of the teams, and we are right now in a very, very vulnerable position. But I want to be a little bit aggressive here. I don't think we got the guy, but at least we might have scared him a bit. Let's see, we should have a trap. Can't put down a trap there, too bad. Loaded. Return to the combat area. Ah, crap, they took this. Confirmed kill, confirmed kill. We are gonna have to fall back, however, and they are gonna throw grenades at us. Yeah, wonderful. Can't go down. Move up. Return to the combat area. Yeah, we are doing that right now. Thank you. Oh crap. Now, if it's true that we need to fall back, then we are at... Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can actually forgive that. I don't know what killed me, but considering the circumstances, I can really complain. Now, let's, let's pick uh, the SKS-25 carbine. This is a weapon that I've always discounted thanks to its rather strange kind of reload animation, but... In this game, it's actually a pretty solid battle rifle. Now, as you can see here, we have a very good defensive position that the enemy are free to snipe as they wish, because they need to run up and attack the citadel from across the river. Now, the river is great. Uh, the river has have uh, not as much glory as it should have. Uh, but this doesn't mean, <coughs> by any stretch of the imagination, that it is safe. I think we got... I'm fairly convinced we got US troops. 
we have US troops on the right flank. Now that's the first time I'm on this radio, and that is... Then I am. And now they called in a napalm strike, so I'm dead. The napalm and artillery strikes can only be called in by the commander. As one leads to west and west. So basically, <coughs> there is a chain of command. Basically, like a squad leader west and west. An employment of a artillery strike. And then... Our dear friends in command. And then... Now we need to move up. See if we can... There is a lot of watch where other people are dying here, so you can learn from your mistakes. Right now we are... Yeah. It's always a bit annoying when you have this... Yeah, I forgot the special intro. Uh, let's just switch to the AK and we'll pick the Type 56 with the fixed slot this time around. Just because I want to show off all the different AKs available. Oh god, no, it's a spooky gunship. <laughs> yeah. We are dying. Because right now, there's something small in that area. Spooky gunship will completely pester the entire area. And the artillery support does its job. And the artillery support does its job. To stress it so that the enemy can advance across uh, the river. Now, we really need to find a way to not die so we can repel the advance of the company. Depending on the some teams are not all that great when it comes to I don't know if we got him or not. That's our guy. Yeah, I think that guy got him. Now, as you can see, the guy used a... Yeah, here he is. Sometimes, when you didn't get the kill, you have to confirm it by other means. And now they put out one of their first men have put out a lot of smoke here. Now what we're doing, basically, is, is asking them to send a grenade our way. As I told you. I don't know if I got one of them, but at least we've managed to see how I do. down. We got shot, but I think we got the guy. Yeah, we got the guy. <clears throat> like I said, this is not a game where you should expect to get a lot of kills. You can get them if you know what you're doing and stay with your squad to find a good ambush position with a hapless enemy team, but at the same time, it's not a game where you can't be afraid to die, because if you're afraid to die, all that will happen is that you are getting trapped in a spot with... You 
people are gonna get trapped in a spot for someone and he's gonna throw a grenade at you. And you need to know when to attack and when Yeah. That's that's the key balance in this game. Knowing when to attack, knowing when to just simply leave well enough alone and fall back. Apparently we got a K there, so we got a penalty for that. Now there are enemies on this flag as well, so... Yeah, it's ours. Staying down is usually, usually something you want to do, and I was too exposed there. I should have slowed down a bit. I'm gonna change back to Soviet AK. I felt that was, uh, was the best one. Not the Chinese. Now you might be wondering why I, the hell. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Sword broke. Run. Yeah, and it didn't do us any good at all, actually. Yeah, I'm running at home, so sorry about that. I should really have no business. But the best way to deploy the weapons in this game is usually short bursts. Short bursts are... Ah, crap. Uh, short bursts is usually what gets you the results, especially close quarters. It's only at bigger distances, at about, say, meters or more that... That my automatic comes by a lot. I don't know where they are. But at least this time we are counter attacking as part of the team. I don't know if they are actually at the big point. They might be. Nah. Oh crap. Let's see if we can get a grenade down there. I think I threw it. Far too long, I should throw it all that, all that distance. I was trying to mount the mount of the weapon. Yeah, we got, we got a salvo off the place. We can hold this for a bit longer and... That will oh, right. victory. The United States did not manage to take victory. away. Victory. So National Liberation Front won two rounds. Scout, report in. And we got 103 points. Our squad was the best one with. 19,000, 1900 points, sorry. 
so let's stay for another game, shall we? You can always outfit your character, and right now we didn't get anything new to unlock, and then you have these, these things. You can basically just vote for the map you want to play, so we're gonna just gonna vote for Hidden Temple, because why not? I haven't actually played that map, so it's gonna be interesting. Apparently we need to download a map, but with my connection that shouldn't be a problem. This will be less of an urban map, it will be more of a... More of a... Brush map, at least if I think... If I read the description properly. Yeah, this is gonna be... Uh, the United States will be attacking, so we're gonna join them, because we played the NBA last time. I am a bit tempted to play the point man, but I'm a bit rusty in playing the point man, so I'm, we're just gonna pick the M16 and go with it. I'm just gonna double check, so I'm actually in the squad, yeah. But I am in a squad where I'm probably not supposed to be. I was added into a clan squad. And I'm pretty sure the clan doesn't want me in. Want me with them. So we're gonna spawn on our squad later and hopefully we will play better with our squad this time around. Switching to semi automatic on the end. We got seven mags, two grenades, and our weapons are zero for 200, 250 meters. The guy in front of us with the grease gun is our point man, he has our smoke grenades, so we should <coughs> try and keep him safe if we can. Now I haven't actually played this map, but... Okay, we can do this. We are taking Bravo! This whole war is nothing but a bunch of... Come on, man, get up! One of ours. We just we marked that Bravo. we have spotted Charlie in the bush. Crap, they're down. I actually saw the Charlie, and I think I got, actually got a wounding shot off at him, but that didn't help us much. They were close in by with shotguns. Had I known he was going to be that close by, I would most likely have used an auto burst. We are that taking have, Charlie. That would have been more effective. I don't know if the guy is even dead. But this is one of the better parts of the game. You can see this in the Huey parts as well, but you quickly become paranoid as to where the enemy actually are. A good NBA squad will lay ambush for you, because they know that in a stand-up fight the Marines usually win. But when it comes to... Yeah, and we got killed by the enemy artillery barrage because the enemy actually happened. Now wait a bit. Like that. 
I can't see where that guy is at or where he is. The only guy I can see is our people. It might be that. Oh wait, no, I don't know the wrong people as well. Where the hell are they? I can't actually see where the fuck he's shooting at. This is ancient. Like I said, you are quickly becoming a bit paranoid about where the enemy might be. At least this time I know pretty much where they're most likely are. They're above us. Above us, on the hillside. We have taken Charlie. We're gonna give Charlie a little gift. That's our two grenades. <sighs> Too bad. We got our shots off, but it didn't matter at the end. It's not an easy position we have to try and advance for this. At least I think we got a approximate uh, suppressing general area, but. Whoever made this map was pretty good at making maps, I have to say, this is a, I f This map feels- oh crap, I spotted him just a second too late. Recon is in the air! Need more ammo. There is a ha- I seem to have this wonderful habit of basically are taking spotting alpha. the enemy one second too late. Basically, when I when I turn to aim at the end. And unlike the last game, the we have been pretty good at sticking with our squad mates. Bravo is being attacked. We're gonna advance to this cliff face here. We have taken Alpha. This cliff face here. I don't know if we have any friendly troops on top of us. I don't think we do. Yeah, they will. we got friendly troops inside the pillbox. Napalm inbound. Take cover. That means we can most likely safely jump down into the trench system and begin our attack in earnest. Apparently, we are already attacking the final objective. Charlie is being attacked. Charlie, that's the place we are at. Yeah, I got you, Charlie. If that wasn't the kill, then I am not pleased. Yeah, it was a kill. Let's see if we have, have friends. The enemy has been oh. destroyed. Come on! Seriously? Seriously? That was never Swapping resolved sides. to anyone's. I mean, who would have won? The prepared marksman or... Yeah, we're gonna pick the mostly the gun for this time. As you can see, m most roles are actually limited, which is actually pretty much a good thing. Let's see if, yeah, we didn't join that squad. We we got to join Baba. Uh, I'm gonna pick the mostly the gun rifle this time around. Let's see if we can do a better job defending than. How are you, G.I. Joe?
And I lost my squad. Fuck. Alpha is being attacked. Okay, so we go with Alpha. That is that damage. Bravo is being attacked. Crap. We're attacking both routes now. We have lost Bravo. The problem with some people choosing to go almost with their chests into battle is that it makes identification a lot more difficult. I think we got the, that guy. We actually gotta get him. And there's a sniper right here, so let's pick that one. We got, we got the guy and we got the sniper rifle. As you can see, sniper rifles work a bit differently than in other games as well. So. We should pick up his sidearm as well. I lost track of where it went just because of that. Alpha is being attacked. <sighs> they captured the village. That's not a good... Promoted to squad leader. Oh crap, that's not good. Scout, I have no in. experience playing the squad leader role. I wonder how much ammo I actually got left. I don't know. Um, I need Mark on beta. <laughs> I don't know if I actually. Yeah. The thing is, I haven't actually got a squad leader. That's a good one. Charlie is being attacked. This really means that I should try Raging and... Bout. Take cover. Oh, crap. I really should try and abandon the sniper role and... Clear line of fire on. There we go. It's healed. I don't know if we got that the second yeah! guy, but hopefully we did. Yeah, we got the second guy. Yeah, that guy has to be already dead. <laughs> Oh crap, they're enemies, danger close, danger close. Scout, report in. They know where I am. They are trying to shoot us. 
See, being a sniper in this game is not as fun as it might be in other games where you know kill streak, fuck all, and, <coughs> and they basically just stole my position. I don't know if my grenades did anything. But I need to change my role now. Uh, I'm gonna pick an AK. Uh, and I'm gonna pick a 556. I'm gonna see if I can relinquish. Yes, I promoted someone else. I don't know if he's better at it than I am, but. Oh crap, we need to defend final objective now. The Yankees are coming, comrade! Oh, it was a team kill. We got team killed last round. Uh, we can forgive that. Team kill is the game, and unless it's cleared. Oh crap! If it's clear that this was an accident, well, then I'm not the guy who is going to badger anyone about it, really. At least that's my. That's how I see it. And we are taking Charlie. And apparently we are attacking C now. What is cool about the tunnel system is that only BC can use the primary weapons in them. Um, Last stand! Don't surrender! The Marines need the tunnel rats. Into the Retreat, so we can attack once more. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's going to be it, but they won by tiebreaker, so that's three games, and it was a nice set of games, actually. Very nice. So thanks for tuning in with me, and we got four kills that round. Sweet.